Good day, friend. Ted C. Yuba here. And I'm here to introduce to you the audio version of the new Think and Grow Rich. It's the book. It's the book as written, read by your humble self, myself, Ted C. Yuba, author of the new Think and Grow Rich. As you may know, the new Think and Grow Rich was built squarely upon the original public domain work, Think and Grow Rich, by Napoleon Hill. The book that's launched a million millionaires. The book most quoted, most used in MLM, sales, insurance, any kind of direct sales organization. So what gave me the audacity to believe that I could update and improve a classic? Well, it's very simple, really. I was teaching it. I was trying to teach it internationally. And if you take an objective look at it, it is an antiquated read. It is full of stories that nobody outside of America knows. Of course, we all know inside of America, Henry Ford and Edison and Carnegie, but outside, they don't know that. And it was reads racist, sexist, nationalist. No, that's true. But what it is, it's a reflection of, well, let me ask you, science... Has there any, been any dramatic progress in any field of science over the last 70 years? Uh, medicine? Ocular therapies? In the, the automobile? Flight? Can the science of personal development be any different? No. No. You see, it needed to be updated to have modern language to be understandable by young people who need it most. It needed to have international examples, international stories, quotes from men, women, other cultures, other nationalities. It needed all that. It got it. But it also needed the progress that's happened with NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, Milton Erickson, all of psychology. It just needed to be updated. Quantum physics, dominantly. Now we can talk in the language of science what, were Napoleon Hill to have written it so clearly, would have had to use the language of mysticism for it. Would have been crucified if he had. So it needed to be updated, and it is. But we're talking right now about the audio version. And what makes the audio version so special? Real simple. Learning styles. You see, it can be very difficult to read a book and to get meaning out of a book. In fact, how many of you are like me? At least once in your life, maybe dozens and dozens of times, depends on how much reading you do, you've read a sentence, a paragraph, or an entire page and just realized, bung, it's blank. You had to go back and get it. Work. It's, it's work. Reading doesn't resonate with 35% of the people. They can't really do it. And the people who have a challenge with the language, as in they, this is their English is their second language, it's really difficult. Uh, ask me, I know, because in Spanish, I'll talk all day long. But don't ask me to read or write. That's a chore. So reading is just a tough, tough act. It just squiggles on a page is all it is. But if you're involved in a conversation, you intuitively, instinctively know it's in our genes to communicate through the spoken word for hundreds of thousands of years. And we go back further than that, we go back in, into millions of years, maybe not as human beings, but from what our progenitors came from. If we came from apes and chimpanzees, they are communicating too. So this is natural. It makes it easy. It makes it an experience rather than a struggle, a struggle of joy. Now you get all the inflections, the emphasis, the, the tonality of the meaning of the author, which gives you the meaning of the book. That's what it is. That's the joy. That's the experience of the new Think and Grow Rich audio version. Friend, let me know how you love it.